All right. Hello, everybody, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, our topic now is about cheating in Islam. Um, cheating is exists everywhere. Have nothing to do with specific religion or you know. There is people who cheat, people who they are not decent, and uh, this is not just something happening to Muslims. Just to make it clear, we are not talking about this. We are talking about the idea of solving the problem. When when the God of Islam he spoke about cheating and how uh, how Allah supposedly the God of Islam he solved this problem and how he uh, announced the punishment for it. Uh, you see, if you go in the Bible, you will see that there is there is a severe punishment for a man who is married or a woman who is married or even if they are singles and they did commit adultery islam is a different story in one side and on one hand islam pretend that it is against adultery but in the same time islam legalized adultery and we mentioned that many times before uh, if you remember the hadith where muhammad he says any muslim man and women they like to share bed together uh, they can do that for three days three night three days three night <coughs> let us see the hadith uh, all right my keyboard is not uh, is not uh, a friendly Arabic keyboard. Um, so, Muhammad says, any uh, if a man and a woman agree for sexual relationship, not temporary marriage. Obviously, this is sexual relationship for muta. Even here, they use the word muta. Muta is a sexual sexual joy. This is what muta is. So, Muhammad allowing Muslim men to hire women for sex for temporary contract and they get paid for it and this is legalized in the time of muhammad later the muslim they say this was forbidden but there's no proof of that because we can find many reference that even the, the caliphate omar and uh, uh, uthman and abu Bakr, uh, they uh, they practice muta after muhammad Um, as you see here we ourselves we had been benefiting ourselves from the temporary marriage by the way it doesn't say temporary marriage this is false translation from the muta which is sexual relationship temporarily you hire a woman you pay her uh, for sex in the lifetime of the prophet and then in the lifetime of abu Bakr and omar so here we go we have many caliphate come and including Uthman for sure, uh, and yet the Muslims practice in Muta. So Islam always claim that it is against adultery, but the fact Islam legalized adultery. But what you don't know that Islam legalized cheating. Uh, according to the Quran, in order for you as a husband or you as a woman, uh, by the way, the woman, she cannot do anything to her husband. I mean, that's it. You find him sleeping with different women, you know, because even if you bring four women, they are witnesses. Their witnessing is not allowed in Islam. You have to bring four men. Four men. Uh, you can go and read the interpretation for this verse. Just I'm showing you in front of you. They have to be four witnesses. They are men, not women. Even if there's one million women, they saw a man having sex with other women. Their witnessing is not accepted. The witness of a woman in Islam is not accept for any capital punishment. The only thing they are allowed to witness for is a, a contract for money, and there is have to be one man and two women, which means in the case of money, two witnesses allowed. But it have to be at least one man and two women. They agree that they are good women to be witnesses because Islam considers women half a brain. Here you notice uh, that the the if you if somebody committed adultery you find a woman she is committing adultery now you want to prove that she is adulterous how you can prove it you have to bring four witnesses and this is for the case 
of uh, any kind of adultery in this case here in front of us speaking about women they are lesbian where women they should be jailed until they die but if a man if two men have sex together here uh, you just beat them with sandals you don't kill them but later those are supposedly according to Muslims abrogated but we cannot find the abrogated verses for them uh, but however the Muslims accept that the four witnesses is valid and this is what you should do in order to have a uh, proof of adultery but how you can prove adultery in Islam uh, first of all what if your wife she like to sleep around and you notice that and you know that a man he came to the Prophet and he said to him my wife does not object anyone to touch her touch her here is not about touching it's about they sleep with her the Prophet said to him uh, divorce her if you wish he said I'm afraid I will miss her he said then stay with her as much as you need to but the fact he did not say that he said that he said enjoy her the same as the rest so Muhammad is teaching his men that forget about dignity and forget about honor and where is Muhammad the tough prophet who is against adultery why Muhammad have no problem that the women she is doing that to her husband why Muhammad did not uh, get angry and say bring her to me and investigate how she is allowing women or allowing other men to to play with her Muhammad he said to the man as if he is a hippie from Santa Cruz California where the hippie movement started it, okay well you know you like her and she you know she like everybody to sleep with her then enjoy her as the rest so you can share the bed with them you and her okay we'll have fun your wife is a whore okay well nice to meet her and what is missing maybe later he asked him where you where you live where's your house all right and the same hadith repeated in many places it was narrated by Ibn Abbas, a man, he came to the Messenger of Allah. I have a wife who is no one must uh, be uh, beloved of the people to me, but she does not object anyone to touch her. He said, divorce her. He said, I cannot, with her. I cannot do without her. So he said, okay, stay with her as much as you need to. So here Muhammad, you see, he is very friendly, all right, with, with, the, with the cheaters. Then we go and we find how Muhammad make it so difficult to prove that a woman or a man is cheating here a story that a man he was having sex uh, with the women and Muhammad required four witnesses as we said and those four four witnesses they have to testify that they had seen their sexual organ going in and out and here this is impossible I mean this is stupid this is gonna be true how for men they will see a man doing that and his you know going in and out I mean the guy did not see them four in the same time like four entered the room in the same time that's impossible same time there's a story but I could not find it for you in uh, in uh, Arabic uh, but uh, I will translate it for you in English uh, maybe that will do uh, let, let us see hold on uh, <clears throat> where is the hadith you see we're trying to make the the, the video short Okay, I will I will translate the hadith into English because I could not really find you the hadith. I mean, from Arabic, I will use Google translation. Um, let us see how to translate the hadith into English. There is an option where you can click at the page, and then you choose translate. Hold on, we don't want to waste time. Translate, translate. Where is translate? Oh, pop, 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 pop. man. Okay, what about we click here? Um, I don't know how to find where it says where in uh, how to do it. And hold on, let me do this. Give me a second. <clears throat> oh, 
where is the translation option why the translation is not open now translate 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 where is translate hmm that's weird I mean always translation happened now it's not happening let us see uh, for some reason it's not working <clears throat> I just did for the other page it's work. Maybe in this page will not work. Mm. Let's see. Give me a second. I don't know what happened. It's not. There is an option. Oh, okay, okay, I found it. Hold on. I found the option finally. All right. Good. 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 It's here. Translate. All right. Bingo. All right. This is the book of Al Mughni, the Seer Al Mughni. Uh, and we translated the page as it is from Arabic. This is Google automatic translation. Here you will find that people they came and they saw a man. Oh, sorry, let me let me put the screen again. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. So we translated the page. Here you will see that people they came and they found a man having sex with a woman. So the problem is there's a three witnesses, but look what happened. Uh, the man he came, the witnesses they came, and they said uh, uh, to the caliphate, uh, they report the story as what they saw. I saw something ugly. He said, praise be to Allah, who did not dem uh, demonize uh, the shaitan with the campaign of Muhammad, etc. He said, he ordered the people to flee and we're flag flagged why he why he flagged them those are three people they came and they accuse a person of having sex why because they are three but not four here you will see that the man one of them he said I saw that uh, the women her legs is around the neck of the man like oh we switch back to, to what happened I mean, what happened here? Did it change the... I don't know what's happening with this page. Hold on. Anyway, one of the witnesses, he said, I saw the man, uh, the woman, her legs are round. Let me see if I can find that in where, where, where this, I mean, the, the, the 15 minute is gone and we are not done. It's hard to finish this topic in 15 minutes. Uh, donkey, now hold on. All right. Do you see what it says? The man, the one the, the, where, where, where uh, they were flagged, uh, the witnesses, one of them he says, I saw her legs above his neck as if they were the ears of the donkey, and I do not know what is behind it. Do you want more? I mean, more than this? The, the three witnesses they saw, and one of them he said what he saw. He says, obviously, they are having sex, and her legs is around his neck like the ears of the don of the donkey but he did not see his penis so omar he did not accept that that's not enough so in islam if your wife is a cheating and you got witnesses you are there two more witnesses three more witnesses four more witnesses and they see that your wife her legs is around the the the, the neck of a, of a guy 
and make his neck like a donkey. He says like his hair, his feet like the like the ears of a donkey. And they are shaking. Actually, the hadith says, and they, they were shaking hard. That is not a proof that they are having sex. And they were flogged. They were punished. The witnesses were punished for making such a statement. So how we can prove adultery in Islam? It's obvious. It's uh, uh, impossible. And why Muhammad he made it impossible? Simply, uh, three witnesses they accuse his wife Aisha that she was having sex with a guy. His name is Safwan. So Muhammad he changed the witnesses from two to four, and he flagged the witnesses who accuse his wife that they saw her with a Safwan. And since then, Muhammad he practiced the same with everybody. So if you see a wife, if you see a woman, and her legs is around the neck of a man, and he is shaking her heavily, we are trying to be polite. That is not a proof of any sexuality in Islam. So how we can prove it? It's impossible. And this is why we say, you know, the Muslim they say Islam is very practical uh, uh, religion. Islam is not a practical. Islam is fake. Islam is, it, you know, is is deceiving. Uh, this is why Muhammad he said in the, one of the uh, hadith that he is forbidding men from going to their houses at night. And obviously, Muhammad he was sleeping with the wives of the Muslims, as what happened with uh, his own son, where he went to the house of his own son wife. And he flirted with the wife when the husband was not there. If this is written in the Muslim books that the Prophet of Allah flirting with the wife of his son, so you can imagine what was happening for reality, because they will never speak bad about their Prophet. According to the story, that when he entered the house of his son, the wind came by Allah, Allah is the one, and he lift up the curtain, and she was almost wearing nothing. So the Prophet he looked at her and he said to the wife. Praise be to Allah who made my heart to flip for you. So Muhammad himself is a cheating with his own son wife while the son is out. And then Muhammad, he forbid the men from coming inside the doors. In one of the hadith, Muhammad, he claimed that the reason you should not come to your house uh, uh, when, uh, when uh, 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 like at night, because she need to shave her vagina. I mean, what kind of an excuse is that excuse? You, do you believe it? Don't go to your house at night because, and you need to tell her in advance. So do you come tomorrow? So your wife, she can shave her vagina. I mean, are we coming to a house of prostitution? Why the women, she have to come, she have to shave her vagina. So each time the Muslim, he want to go home. His wife to shave, she have to shave his his her vagina. In different translation, they say so she will comp she will comp her hair. Look how they look how they 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 they, they, they fabricate translation. Do you see the translation? Look look here they say it. Look what they say, just to show you how they lie. Here it says to comp her hair. But look, it's what about comp hair? This is about shaving her vagina, not comping her hair. So the prophet is making every way, every mean, so he can allow people to commit adultery. And he is, you know, obviously he is playing around. It's for the benefit of who? That the man should not come at night at to home. It's not for the benefit of the man, not for the benefit of the family. The family will be happy to see their, the children, they will be happy to see their father coming back. Who care about the private part shaving now? I mean, why this is very important? Are you going when you see your wife? You will kiss her lips, or you will kiss her. Uh, I mean, why why she have to shave it before he come, and and why he cannot come at home? Okay, let us say he come at home. Can she shave it after? I mean, <laughs> this is stupid. You know, you know what I mean? So he came. Okay, and so what if they live together? He had he cannot be home. If she if if her vagina is not shaved. So here you, you notice that this is this is stupid. Muhammad is promoting very weird uh, habit between his followers, and obviously he himself is trying to get not to get busted, and because his men they go to war, he stay home.
the women they are alone and now if what if they come so suddenly you cannot you don't go to your house no you send a messenger you knock at the door from behind the door hey your wife is here and your husband is here he will come tomorrow morning so they want no the women she will tell her uh, okay a boyfriend you know there's a different hadith let me see if I can find it uh, where where he said that the man should not go home and he because he might find something he hate to see he hate to see I mean and not only uh, not only that uh, Muhammad in order to avoid a bigger problem he uh, claimed that a Muslim woman she can be pregnant for many years this is Islam questions and answer this is an Islamic official website as you see and the long uh, the, the the like uh, this is a translation for the Arabic by the way this is the article not in English I, I use the Google translation so here the question is how long the women period to be pregnant I mean for how long six months nine months no look here the answer there is the bent the bent in the Islamic school so there is Islamic schools according to Islamic schools read with me carefully uh, the maximum length of uh, pregnancy is usual period which is nine months by the honor of the doctrine okay this is number one number two the maximum etc is one year the maximum is two years the maximum is a three years the maximum is uh, five years in the Shafi'i, this is all the Islamic Sunni school. Those are Sunni, not Shia. Five years, and then Imam Malik, the Maliki, the the, the, uh, the Muslim Sunni, they are four sect, four sect, four major sect. We can say so uh, uh, for uh, a Shafi'i and Hanbali, uh, you can your wife she can be she can deliver a child after you divorce her five years. I mean, imagine you divorce your wife, or you, let us say you go away to different country. You know, you immigrate to America. You can't bring your wife, and now your wife she call you after four years or five years, and she say, "Hey, I got you a son." He cannot say, "This is not my son." If he is from the Islamic Shafi'i sect or Hanbali, he have to agree. All right, because it says here four years and the Maliki five years. Okay. And then he other school it says six years and then other school says seven years and then I mean uh, and, uh, and and then the number keep going until it says ten years all right so uh, here you will see the whole article talking about uh, all those uh, reference and all about why it is ten years and four years and six years and etc so how in the world we can prove adultery we have to bring for witnesses if she is having sex and if the woman she deliver a baby later even if the husband he die after three years still she can be delivering a baby and nobody can accuse her of being cheating so what kind of religion this religion is there's a woman in Sudan she was accused of adultery and uh, the lawyer he is very well educated in the court of the Sharia he said well according to the sect according to our sect according to our religion the women she can be uh, you know she can deliver baby from her husband even after many years after his death she is a widow so you cannot accuse her of being adulterous you have no witnesses you have no proof and the only thing against her that she deliver a baby but as you see that the women she can be still carrying a baby from the same man who died seven years ago <laughs> So when we when we talk about Islam, we are talking about something crazy and something beyond imagination, nothing logical, and this is what they call Islam. Imagine you divorce your wife four years ago, five years ago, seven years ago, ten years ago, and then she call you and she say, "I have a son from you." Imagine you go you know your wife she live in indonesia and you live in australia and you live in australia and you never saw her for seven years yet she can still claim that this is your son so muhammad he made it cheating legal 
and proving of a cheating impossible. And you can get away with the cheating very easy. So I believe strongly, Muslim they claim that Islam, Islam is a very strict. Islam is very hippie. It is literally a hippie. You can have sex with four, and you can divorce them and get a brand new wives every day if you want. There's no limit. There's no limit. But you cannot have more than four in the same time. That's it. But you can divorce the same four. You can divorce them, and, and, uh, and you can marry four now. You can divorce them after 15 minutes and marry a new four uh, after 15 minutes. As long as you have money, you can afford it. There's no limit. It's a hippie religion. And then all kind of relationship is accepted. So how we can believe that Islam is religion and Islam teaching good ethic if Muhammad himself was a cheater? I'm not going to keep the video longer because we are trying to keep it short. Please don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for being here. And if you like to learn more, don't forget you can get my books from Amazon and we have them in all languages. Please tell, tell your friends about our books. And uh, like lately we have our uh, Spanish book published for those who speak Spanish. Uh, and we have the books in German, Swedish, French. Uh, so please search for Christian Prince in Amazon, depend on your country, and you will find the list of my books in Amazon. So thank you very much for being here, and I hope we share with you good information for today. And I will see you tomorrow. Good evening, everyone, and good morning for those who they are in Asia. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye. Thank you.